Mark Weiberg with the Utah State University Chimera Rocket Team. Today we're going to show you how to build a water bottle rocket uh, using a basic 2 liter soda bottle. Now before we begin we need to review uh, all the materials you'll need and also the tools. Um, you should be able to buy all these at a basic hardware store for about $20 or less. Uh, the first thing you'll need is three uh, two foot sections of one half inch schedule 40 PVC tubing. You'll also need some basic PVC fittings, also one half inch. Uh, you'll need three T's. You'll need four end caps. One of those end caps you'll want to drill a half inch hole in. You'll also want uh, an inch and a quarter slip fit coupling. You'll also need six zip ties. Uh, these are medium zip ties. Uh, probably have lots sitting around at home. You'll need a three-quarter inch uh, band clamp. And then this special item may be hard harder to find. You can get it at any automotive store. It's called a tubeless tire valve. Okay, and you want to make sure you get it in the point, uh, four, five, three inch rim hole size. The length is unimportant but you want to make sure that its diameter is 0.453 so that it will fit easily through your end cap that you've drilled a one half inch hole in. You'll also need uh, a few foot or a few feet, four or five of uh, nylon string. You'll need two water bottles or soda bottles in the two liter size. One of them you'll use as a rocket, and the other you'll cut up to help make the firing mechanism. And lastly, this isn't necessary, but it's nice to have a birthday candle, and this will help us in just a minute to bend some of our tubing real quick. Some basic tools you'll need, uh, most of these you probably have. You'll want an electric drill, and we already showed why you need that. You'll want to drill a hole in your end cap. It helps to have a square, and that'll just be to get your tube facing vertical on the launcher. You'll want a pair of scissors, a lighter or a match, a flathead screwdriver, a ruler, a sharpie or another permanent marker, a pair of um, either needle nose or blunt nose pliers. It helps to have a box cutter if you have one and you want some duct tape. And finally, you'll need some PVC adhesive. And you don't necessarily need the primer, but most people that have PVC cement will also have a primer and that helps to make a better seal. So let's get started. 